It's important to know for paper one the difference between specific and ad valorem taxes. So let's have a look at the diagrams. So a specific or unit tax is basically a fixed tax per unit. Regardless of price, the tax does not change with the price of the product. And what it does is it shifts the supply curve vertically by the same amount at every price level. It's a tax on the producer. A good example in the UK would be duty on cigarettes. There is actually VAT on cigarettes as well, but there's a specific tax of over £5.30 per pack of 20 cigarettes, according to the recent data I could find. Whereas an ad valorem tax is a percentage of the price of the good or service. The tax increases with the price. And it causes the supply curve, as we'll see in a second, to pivot, not shift in parallel. Obviously, a good example with VAT, the standard rate is 20%. And a good topical example is 20% VAT applied on school fees, private school fees, from January 2025 onwards. So with a specific tax, the tax shifts up by the vertical amount shown there, the tax per unit. And in this situation, prices demand an elastic, so most of the burden of the tax is paid by the consumer. Similar situation here, price and elastic demand, but this time I've imposed an ad valorem tax. And you can see there's a pivotal change in the supply curve. So the higher the price, the more is paid in VAT. There we go. That's the difference between specific and ad valorem taxes. If you get to draw a diagram question, make sure you get it right. Take care. See you soon.